The following is a morning walk conversation with His Divine Grace, A.C. Bhaktivedanta Swami Prabhupada, recorded on May 15, 1973, in Los Angeles. For the scientists to understand God, what is their degree? We understand God very easily. Because this, eh? they find it very hard to see the spirit, the soul. You know. It's very doubtful, they say. Well, the spirit you see, I don't see. Study that is matter. Eh? Study is matter. Yeah, that's all. Eh? <coughs> no, once they see the spirit soul, they can detect somehow, then uh, they definitely the how, convinced. How we can see? It is the measurement is given one ten thousand part of the tip of the ear. Mm -hmm. So where is your seeing power? Still they want to sense it by some... Uh, sense, uh, that is, uh, any rascal can sense that here is living energy, there is spirit soul. Just like if you inject one grain of poison and immediately dies. Uh, does it require how he dies? That one, not one grain, even one hundred part of one grain, then I was poisoned. How it acts? Uh, even nobody can see. They have the snake wise. Mm. Nobody can see. What is that? How he dies? They will explain that by... Uh, huh? It blocks some of the metabolic path. That's all right. But it is acting. That is my point. Mm. He can explain in your nonsense way. <laughs> but I see that because that... This very little portion of poison is there immediately. Why don't you see the action? That's just like uh, taking cyanide. Yes. Cyanide, they said cyanide blocks the... Uh... Whatever it may be. But for the thing that we have to see by the effect. Mm -hmm. Similarly, it, the small particle of... Therefore our knowledge is perfect. We take it from Vedas. The small particle of soul, because it is present there, uh, you see the whole thing is very unnicely. They what? say the soul is subject to material conditions. Huh? <laughs> they say, they're seeing the body as the soul, so they say because it's subject to material conditions, therefore it's not no. eternal. Maybe material condition, that is, uh, but so you have to accept there is soul. Uh, Once they accept the existence of the soul, huh? then uh, there is not uh, much difficulty. Huh? Once they accept this, huh? then automatically they have to accept. No, they have to accept. They have, they have no explanation. All they explain uh, foolishly. How they, uh, man is living, how there is consciousness, he cannot explain. Abhinashita tadvidhi jena sarva vidam tatam. Consciousness. Because the soul is there, if I pinch here, immediately I feel, I'm conscious. Throughout the whole skin I'm conscious. As the soul is not there, if you cut it, chop it, nobody protest. Why the simple thing they do not understand? That's the soul problem about God. Huh? They, they yeah, first of all, let us understand the soul. Soul is the, the small God. Sample God. If you understand the sample, then you can understand the whole thing. Some, some, some scientists are uh, um, claiming that just because they haven't yet discovered how to create life, uh, they are uh, soon to. And uh, what, is what is that? They, they, they are in the process of trying to create life. That is as still now. That we kick out. Mm, yes. That we kick on their face. Yes. But they say we... So what do you have got just now? Uh, that we are, don't accept. We are trying, a, a, a rascal is saying, I'm trying to be millionaire. Okay, mm -hmm. when you become millionaire, then talk. Mm -hmm. Now we are a poor beggar man, that's all. That we shall accept. What you are trying, everyone is saying, I'm trying. What you are now, that is our proposition. Okay. At the present they know how to kill very good. Huh? <laughs> At the present they know how to kill very good. Yeah. Nonsense. We are trying. Then that any nonsense will say, I am trying. What is this? <coughs> that is not it. 
Well, scientific proposition. The argument that has been presented is that, well, we don't have it now, but soon we're to have it. So uh, that, that any rascal will say. What is the difference between you and the rascal? Any rascal will say. That I'm trying to. What is the use of the scientist? Any rascal will say. Trust the future, have a pleasure. You can talk of all pleasant things in future, but you don't trust it. You as you don't trust, because you do not see soul, you don't trust. Why should I trust you? You just tell that in future you shall be a very great scientist. Huh? You do not trust, because you do not see there is no soul. You cannot see. So why shall I trust you? Huh? What is the answer? That in future you will be able to do something extraordinary. Yes. Why of, shall I trust you? Give them a lot of credit. Huh? Why well, say they've done so much in the past? Huh? They've accomplished so much. That in is the past. all useless. What you have done? You have not given uh, uh, any contribution that there will be no death. The death is there. In the past there was death. The people are dying now. What you have done? Help death. Huh? Helped death. Well, I helped means you have helped to minimize the duration of life. Normally man was living hundred years, now they do not live more than sixty, seventy years. That you have helped, certainly. Huh? What you have done help? A man is dying ordinarily. You have created atomic energy. He can kill thousands of men. So you have helped only in dying, but you have not helped in living. That is not possible. Then what you have done? Some childish play? What you have done? Because now we have airplanes. You cannot stop death. You cannot stop birth. You cannot stop disease. You cannot stop old age. So what you have done? Formerly people used to become old. Now also they become old. Formerly people used to die. They are dying now also. <coughs> huh? Normally people used to become diseased. They are becoming diseased. More diseased, more medicine. Now what you have helped? You have not helped anything in the improvement of the uh, order of the world. What is the help? These same scientists will point to India and say, look at all the dying and starving people. Of now, no, why Indians? We are talking of the whole world. Yes. Why you take the example of the Indians? Well, they Indians may be backward. Mm. We were talking of you, so forward. What you have done? Indians may be backward. We are not talking of any particular uh, nation, uh, particular people. We are talking of general people, people in general. Huh? India, why we bring India? Well, it's a popular opinion over here that Indians are... No, no, why do you bring... This is another foolishness. Mm. Why do you bring India? What you have done, first of all, say. Well, I'm not doing this. No, no, you are your man. Those are not Indian. Well, perhaps it's because spiritual culture originates. Huh? Spiritual culture is... Yeah. permeates their society. Yeah. That, that, that is uh, when the spiritual consciousness is presented in truth. Then you become conquered. You have been already... The Christian people are astonished how Krishna consciousness has been so big shape within so few years. And they are afraid now. Mm, yes, yes. And why they shall not be? Here is science, and that is foolishness only. Yes. God has only one son. Why? God one son. I ask the priest, the God is limited or unlimited? No, unlimited. Then why should we limit it by one son? He could not answer. Uh, ordinary man have more than one son, and God has got only one son. Why? He could not answer. There is no philosophy. How people ill. They die. This Christian religion was taught uh, thousands of years ago, some shepherds, some fourth class men. And now people are so much advanced in science, why they will accept it? Uh, and Jesus Christ is preaching, first thing, thou shalt not kill. That means he was preaching among the killers. So what kind of men they are? Tenth class of men. And how this tenth class man religion will be acceptable by the first class man? Now people are becoming first class men. The, the, these, these things are gone. Dogmas and, and nonsense, philosophy. <laughs> that will not stand.
They are automatically, his ten religion is dead now. Nobody is going. There is no philosophy, there is no science. How it will be accepted? And they are violating, simply violating. Whatever it may be. Christ says, Thou shalt not kill, they are simply killing. How it will go on? How long you can cheat people? Huh? What is the explanation? There. Yeah. The first order is, Thou shalt not kill. Now why they are killing? What is the answer? Sanskrit. Yes, sir. They have lost uh, violating. They lost respect as well. Yes, yes. Violating the laws. So how they can uh, go on with the business? Somehow they think they have an answer. They have no answer. I've, as soon as I asked this question, yeah, yesterday also, last, that uh, television, he also asked the same question. He has purchased all our book. So why this Christian religion is declined? And why it will not? Why you are violating? He could not answer. He could not answer. He will violate. All many Christian priests ask me this question. <laughs> and as soon as I put this question, they stop. They stop. They cannot answer. So why you are killing? The first order is thou shalt not kill. And why you are killing? They cannot answer. I ask them two questions. Why God? Unlimited God shall have only one son. <coughs> and why you are killing? They cannot answer. No. Are you answer? No. The uh, earth was flat. <coughs> eh? They believe that the world is flat. So how about imperfect knowledge they have got? The house, the imperfect knowledge, how, how long it can go? Just like you are going to challenge all these rascals, that uh, life is uh, <coughs> grown out of matter. We are going to challenge. It is not a fact. So how long you can cheat people? Huh? For hundred, two hundred thousand years, but you cannot cheat for all the time. It's been going on for time immemorial. Huh? Cheating. It's been going on from time immemorial. I guess they figure they can just keep going on for time immemorial. No time immemorial. <laughs> He is he had been cheated for two hundred, three hundred years, that's yes, all. Uh, not before that. All these scientists rascal have come out within two hundred years, that's all. Mm. Oh, really? uh, so he had been cheated for the last two hundred years, not for the thousands of years. So it will be finished. Within another fifty years everything will be finished. Yes, they say now there is an anti intellectual movement. Yeah. People are rebelling to uh, science and modern progress. What is that science? That is not science. <laughs> it is ig ignorance. Yeah. Then they Ignor go to the extreme. They go to the uh, emotional stream, the extreme. Simply ignorance. <laughs> ignorance is going at science. The religion is going at religion. Now how long it will go? People are becoming intelligent. In, in Newsweek magazine, it's the largest, news, largest magazine in the United States. Yeah. There was an article about... Uh, degradation of Christianity, and they summarized it with a cartoon, a picture uh, of the devil, you know, Maya, this uh, is their image of Maya, and he was causing earthquakes. There was a very famous, a very large earthquake in South America, it killed many thousands of people. So they attribute this to Maya, and right next to them was a picture of a of Richard Nixon, with because he's, very, he, he's a very famous, you know, he presents himself as a follower of Christ. Oh. And he's bombing, you know, bombing Southeast Asia. Uh, that's and, a lot kill. Yeah, and the devil turned to the devil turned to Richard. Nixon and said, the devil turned to Richard Nixon and said, "It's hell keeping up with Christians." <laughs> yeah, people will criticize like that. <coughs> people are becoming advanced. How long you can cheat them? It's so-called science of religion. Now you take up this Krishna consciousness movement seriously, you will give real thing. Try to understand. Just mean vidyate sarvavedam vidyatam bhavanti. If you simply understand Krishna, everything will be known to you. This is the process. If you simply understand Krishna, Krishna is explaining himself in Bhagavad Gita. You know everything. You know everything. And that is the Vedic injunction. 
जिसमें विज्ञाते सर्वेदम विज्ञातम भवंती बाई नोइंग कृष्णा यू नो एवरी That science you try to understand and please people will be happy. Now our question was that we say that the man, I say man, other living entities, they are also living entities. So in Christian religion, so they say the man is made up of God. Is it not? Image. Yes. Image of God. Huh? Image of God. So, man is the sample of God. So why don't you start study nicely, man? And you, you can know, understand God. What is God? I ask this question to believe. Man is made after the image of God. You study very scrutinizingly a perfect human being, and you know what is God. Most ideal, most ideal image of a human being. Yes, and that is the basic injunction. Nitya nitya ram, chitra chitra ram. So you take a perfect man, just like Krishna. You take a perfect man, take him as man. You see that he is God. He has got all the perfections. Even if you take him as a man. No competition. And no competition. Bhagavan. <laughs> And that is Bhagavan. <laughs> Bhagavan is. We are giving this definition. Bhagavan means a perfect man. Yes, sir. <clears throat> Now, just like man wants to. Uh, uh, Wife, to have wife. So why there is uh, this called adulteration? He wants more than one wife. Just see, perfect Krishna. He has got sixteen thousand wives, which you cannot imagine. Here is perfection. You cannot say that a man has no inclination to have more than one wife. That is there. So that propensity is in perfection is there in Krishna. And that is that which is done. We refer to it as the Don Juan complex. Huh? Don Juan complex. Don complex. What is that? Don. It's, it's a, a character in Spanish history, uh, fictional history. Ah. The perfect lover, the image that all men would like to be, the perfect lover. Yeah. So who can be perfect lover than Krishna? Krishna, uh, he loves everyone. Where is that man? He loves everyone. They so-called patriot. They love their countrymen, but kill their animals. Why? Mr. Nixon uh, loves his countrymen. Why not love his uh, country cows? They are also born in the land. They require also. They have right to live. Oh, why they kill? That is imperfection. And Krishna is embracing the calf, come on, and embracing Radha Rani also. And that is perfection. <laughs> that is perfection. Krishna talks with birds. Yeah. These are yeah. Oh, one day on the bank of Jamuna, he was talking with a bird. One old lady saw and so oh, he is talking with a bird. That is perfect. He sounded like this. Huh? He talked like that. Like, yeah. Like the birds talk. Yes. Yes. Therefore, uh-huh. Krishna is another quality of Babu Dha. He can speak in any language. Birds have language. Huh? Animals have their language. That's oh yeah, everyone has language. 
how is it that we can enjoy this energy we are in, Krishna's energy now, and uh, we acknowledge it as Krishna in a neophyte state, the pure devotee realizes it as Krishna's energy. <laughs> Uh, but as a neophyte, how do we enjoy material energy in this aspect, the fresh air in the morning walk? The neophyte or anyone still who is not in Krishna consciousness, he does not enjoy, he simply suffers. Hmm. There is no question of enjoyment. Hmm. Anyone who is not in Krishna consciousness, he does not enjoy, he simply suffers. But he takes the suffering as enjoyment. That is Maya. That is why. Just like in your country, they are walking day and night, just like from the morning. Good, 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 good. They are suffering, but the people are coming, enjoying golf. That is suffering only. From the morning, going here and there. Is it not suffering? <laughs> but he is thinking, I am enjoying. And this is my. It's like the Yes, this is my. He is suffering, but he is thinking, I am enjoying. So any conditioned soul, he doesn't enjoy anything. He simply suffers, but he thinks that he is enjoying. Ah. Therefore the camel, camel example is given. Camel example. Camel, he, he is eating his own blood, eh? eating thorns, and the thorns cutting the tongue, and the, from the tongue blood is oozing out. So when the blood is mixed up with the thorny uh, twigs, it becomes a little tasteful, and he's thinking, oh, it is very nice. Uh, similarly, all these grihasthas uh, enjoying sex life, he's discharging his own blood, he's becoming weaker and weaker, he's thinking, I'm enjoying. He's thinking, I have enjoyed. And if he uses more, then he becomes diseased, tuberculous. He's dying by that process, but he's thinking, I have enjoyed. Therefore it is exemplified with the camel. He's enjoying his own blood by discharging. Eh? One drop of cement is made out of so many drops of blood. Do you know? Eh? Forty drops. Just see. And how many, how much drops of semen he is discharging, that means he is spoiling his blood. Eh? But he is thinking, I am enjoying. Would you like to, by giving your blood to enjoy? Would you like? No, I don't think I am. But you are doing that every night? And that is what my... No, I am a brahmacharya. No, you are, I am giving an example. <laughs> <laughs> eh? yeah, this is going on. He is going to die. He has adopted a process by which he will die, and he thinks that I am enjoying. This is called māyā. Māyā means things which is not. Māyā. Māyā means not. Yā means this. What you are thinking, it is not that. That is called māyā. So they are in māyā means they are thinking, these rascals are thinking, improving, Becoming happy, advancing, <laughs> this Maya world will finish everything. Maya, not this. Uh. <coughs> Bhagavad said that you are thinking you are becoming victorious, but you are being defeated. Parabhavastavad abodhajata. These rascals, abodhajata, born fools and rascals, uh, they are becoming defeated in every step. So long he does not inquire about his self, what I am. He is simply being defeated. That's all. This is the verdict. Walking further into the cave. He is working foolishly like animal. He does not know what is soul, what he is. Nothing of the sort. He is working hard day and night and he is thinking, I am becoming victorious. This is karma. What victory? Have you own victory over birth, death? The ideal problem? No, we have own victory. We can now, without horse, we can go with the car. Nobody is there. 
with a horse or without horse, you, you cannot go anywhere else. You will be here within this world. That's all. Just like this rascal, now they have invented car. You know that? Formerly they are walking. Yes, now car. Yeah, that's all. What is that? That within the that golf area, that's all. <laughs> you know the cow? The cow is stuck up with a pole in India, a long rope, and he is uh, he's thinking, I am free. <laughs> They made a longer rope. Yes. And he's thinking, I am so free. You know? These rascal dummies going on. The one who wrote Paradise Lost, Milton? Yeah. He also wrote a, a poem which said that uh, a working man is nothing but a devil's slave. Yes, that's it. Mm. So he works so hard for his money, but not his life can he save. No, what will he do with the money? He will satisfy his senses. That's all. And he loses it. So he is he he servant of the senses. Mm -hmm. He sells his energy. Yes. Yeah. Christmas energy that is in him. Mind energy. Migration of soul. Uh, suppose this time I am very great scientist, and next life I become a tree like this. What is my advancement? Stand up for ten thousand years. Uh, what is the advancement? Going backwards. Huh? Going backwards. Yes. Not <laughs> going to hell. <laughs> That's all. Right. We are trying to be naked. Nature will say, yes, you stand here naked for ten thousand years. Yes? That is the punishment for being naked. Human life is not meant for becoming naked. That is according to Vedic civilization, the great sin. You see? So they are, they are propensity, they are increasing to become naked. Like our judge. Yeah? What is it? Lelan, Lelan. Oh, yes. Yeah. yeah. So uh, next time he is going to be tree. Stand up. Otherwise, what from the trees come? They come out. Explain. You become tree, that's all. Just like the Nolokuvet, they are taking bath naked without caring for Narat. All right, you become naked for one hundred years. Also, there are different grades of priests. Oh, yes. Everywhere different grades. That is God's creation. Variety. So, those trees which, which appear nice fruits and nice flowers. Yes, they are, they are fast. Fast trees. Otherwise, uh, why I am taking care of this leaf? Because the flower is there. And who cares for this leaf? Trampling down. As in human society, there is first class man, second class man, third class man. Similarly, in every field, first class animal also. Cows. Yes. Useful. Giving milk. Most humble, useful. Even after death, it is useful. Huh? And they, they are so rascal, they are taking care of the dog, not of the cow. Just see how they are rascal. And they are advanced civilized. They do not know what is meant by civilization. Now, according to Vedic scripture, cow killing is sinful. It is never written, dog killing is sinful. Generally, any animal you kill, that is sinful. But specially, cow killing is sin. Gohatya. Gohatya.
and that cow killing is going on in the Christian world and still they are religious. What kind of religion? Christian religion says generally thou shalt not kill or and especially they are killing cows. Generally killing and especially killing. First thing is why they shall kill at all. In America, oh, there was sufficient food. So much rice, so much wheat, so much oats, fruits, and grains, and butter, and ghee. Now why they shall kill? What is the reason? Now what is that uh, bird is killed in Christmas? Turkey. Turkey, Turkey you see. Uh,